HBOT Yet another feather in Oximed's cap Located in Nandanam Chennai is Oximed Hospitals a unique healthcare institution that focuses on state of the art non-invasive non-surgical methods of treatment of illnesses having succeeded in successfully rehabilitating over 10000 cardiac patients with non-surgical treatment Dr Ayaz Akbar the founder and managing director of the hospital decided to extend non-invasive treatment to ortho related conditions such as osteoarthritis by deploying the following forms of therapy emetron laser physiotherapy reflexology detoxification using chelation and prolo injection therapy non invasive treatment is also being accorded to the following ailments osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis whole spine degeneration cardiovascular diseases diabetic gangrene and foot ulcers stroke and paralysis chronic fatigue syndrome cancer diabetic wounds necrotizing soft tissue injection thermal burns crush injuries acute traumatic ischemia air or gas embolism and many more tapping the amazing healing power of oxygen oxygen is the most abundant chemical element in the earth's biosphere and it is also an indispensable resource to most terrestrial life the generation and maintenance of all our body processes are supported by four basic life support components carbohydrates water proteins and energy oxygen is actually the overriding key ingredient in all four of these life support components 80% of all our metabolic energy production is created by oxygen scientists agree that oxygen plays a powerful and primary role in our overall health and well-being a growing number of researchers are convinced that the best way to improve health is related to the optimum oxygenation of every cell being the essence for life it makes sense that large concentrations of oxygen under pressure can promote accelerated healing anywhere in the body introducing hyperbaric oxygen therapy hbot at oximed with the mission of promoting and furthering public health and longevity dr ayaz akbar and his team decided to adopt yet another life saving non invasive technique for the effective treatment of acute and chronic tissue damage of any cause any duration and any location called the hbot an abbreviation for hyperbaric oxygen therapy this technique has helped prevent thousands of limbs from being amputated by improving vascular and circulation health and removing dead damaged and infected tissue hyper means increased and baric relates to pressure hyperbaric oxygen therapy or hbot thus refers to the intermittent treatment of the entire body with 100% oxygen at greater than normal atmospheric pressures hbot is of immense value as a life and limb saving measure in several medical and surgical conditions hbot appears to be promising in autism affected children paralytic stroke rehabilitation traumatic brain injury etc hbot in most cases supplements conventional treatment and is not meant as an alternative therapy history of hyperbaric oxygen therapy The use of hyperbaric therapy dates back nearly 350 years. The first hyperbaric chamber was created in 1662. However, clinical use of hyperbaric oxygen therapy started in the mid 1800s. In the early 1930s, the military developed and tested hyperbaric oxygen 
specifically in the area of deep sea diving and aeronautics. During the 1960s, studies began on a wide variety of indications for HBOT. While the technique has gained popularity in the developed countries, it is yet to find ground in the developing world. There are just three hospitals in India, including Oximed, offering HBOT. HBOT at Oximed Oximed Hospitals has established India's first HBOT center in collaboration with the USA. The treatment and research center at Oximed Hospitals takes pride in treating FDA-approved conditions and researches on the off-label conditions under the leadership of Dr. Ramanathan Muttaya, MD. Let's listen to Dr. Ramanathan Muttaya on how HBOT accelerates healing. Greetings to you, doctor, Hello. and it's a great pleasure for us to have you over here. And first of all, we would like to congratulate you for this uh, amazing technology which you have introduced. Thank you. And today we have a set of questions to put across to you about HBOT. Uh, doctor, can you please tell us what is this HBOT all about? HBOT is the short form of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy means oxygen is being delivered to the patient at higher atmospheric pressures. Mm -hmm. The room we are standing in is the normal atmospheric pressure. Mm -hmm. We give oxygen at higher atmospheric pressure to the patients to treat them. And how was this HBOT done actually? HBOT is done in specialized chambers like the one you see. Okay. There are two types of chambers. One is a monoplace, the other one is a multi-place chamber like this one, wherein many patients can be given treatment at the same time. Okay, and how many phases are there in this HBOT treatment? Uh, HBOT has been given in three phases. First phase is the compression phase, when the chamber is compressed to the set atmospheric pressure. Mm -hmm. then. Oxygen is being delivered to the patients through masks. And third phase is the decompression phase when the pressure is brought back to the room temperature, room pressure, and then the patients are taken out. All right, and how do you think this particular treatment will benefit the patients? The patients who are deprived of oxygen, wherever there is hypoxia in the patients, this will be giving oxygen to them. So that will benefit all the patients. Normally, the blood is saturated with oxygen. There are two parts in the blood. One is the cell part, the other one is the fluid part. Okay. Regularly in the room air, when we breathe in oxygen, the oxygen is gets saturated only in the cell part. Okay. So when we give it in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber, the oxygen gets saturated even in the fluid part. Fluid part goes into all parts of the body, so mm -hmm. the hypoxia is being alleviated and they get treated. Okay, doctor. And is there any contraindication for this HBOT? As such, there are no contraindications. The only one contraindication which can be theoretically said is mm -hmm. when the air enters the uh, chest cavity mm -hmm. other than the lung. So that time uh, they might feel some uh, side effects or they might be feeling shortness of breath. So we don't take those patients inside. So that's the only, only case? Only case where we can tell that we do not take those patients. Okay. What are the set of conditions under which this particular treatment is given? Of all conditions, there are many indications given by USFDA. 50 of them are being approved by the USFDA. Like the main treatment for this chamber is like for diverse disease for which it was invented. The, there are other diseases like diabetic foot, non-healing ulcers, and all, place, all places where there is hypo, a role for hypoxia, they can be treated with hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Okay, doctor. And can you please explain to us about the safety or the precautionary measures that should be taken before giving this treatment? Patients who go in, like it's like how they go in an air, aircraft. They will feel like they are going in an aircraft only, similarly. Okay. So they might feel ear pain mm -hmm. if they have cough and cold because they can't clear their ears. Okay. And they might have headaches if they have sinusitis. Okay. So these are the two conditions which we should rule out before sending the patient inside the chamber. Okay. So if, if it is so, then we treat that condition and then they can be taken into the so chamber. So once these conditions are ensured, and there's no, no safety no, risk factor? No risk factor for the patient. Okay. And what do you think uh, the preliminary tests to be taken before undergoing this particular treatment? The regular test, which, the main th test which we suggest is a normal chest x-ray okay. to see how the lung is. Okay. Then a regular ECG to avoid, rule out any cardiac uh, problems. Okay. And the third thing is the regular blood test like if they have any infection or to rule out those things. Okay. 
Okay. It's all, all very simple, simple tests. Simple Basic tests. tests. Nothing, complicated. Nothing complicated. Okay, doctor. And thank you very much for being with us and thanks for your time. It was really very informative to us and I uh, guess this particular session would be really very, very helpful to the people. And doctor, I wish you introduce more such technologies so that, you know, people are benefited more and more. Thank you very much. Thank you once again, doctor. The HBOT technique. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy involves breathing pure oxygen in a pressurized room or tube. Breathing 100% oxygen under pressure allows oxygen to dissolve into the blood plasma, resulting in increased amounts of oxygen delivery to the tissues. Hyperbaric oxygen acts as an antiviral and antibacterial, as bacteria and viruses typically cannot tolerate oxygen. This helps fight bacteria and stimulate the release of substances called growth factors and stem cells which promote healing. In a hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber, the air pressure is increased to three times higher than the normal air pressure. Under these conditions, lungs can gather more oxygen than breathing pure oxygen at normal air pressure. Blood carries this oxygen throughout the body. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy treatment has three phases. Compression Once the patient is situated comfortably inside, the chamber door is sealed and pressurization begins. At any time, compression can be slowed or stopped. Compression typically takes 15 minutes but can be tailored to each individual patient. Treatment Once at death, the patient is put on pure oxygen. The chamber will be continuously ventilated to ensure the climate in the chamber is comfortable. Treatment typically takes 60 minutes but may vary depending on the prescription. Decompression Once the time at the treatment depth is completed, depressurization begins. Air, oxygen, is slowly exhausted out of the chamber, decreasing the pressure and bringing the patient back to the surface. Decompression typically takes 15 minutes. Hyperbaric, the complete treatment. The complete treatment addresses tissue hypoxia, provides more oxygen to tissues and organs, assists in reducing inflammation, improves blood flow, improves the effectiveness of the immune system, aids in reduction of stress-related symptoms, reduces swelling or edema, destroys harmful bacteria. Oxygen diffusion in plasma is optimized. HBOT application. Oxygen floods areas that are oxygen starved to stimulate cell growth and regeneration. Hyperbaric oxygen acts as an antiviral and antibacterial as bad bacteria and viruses typically cannot tolerate oxygen. Hyperbaric oxygen is an immune modulator supporting the immune system to bring T and B cells within normal function. Oxygen reduces tumor growth in cancer patients. Hyperbaric oxygen increases neural brain function due to oxygen saturation. Oxygen displaces toxins and other impurities to assist in detoxification of the system. Hyperbaric oxygen provides many other condition-specific benefits. Medical and surgical FDA-approved conditions where HBOT is used. Crush injuries and other traumatic ischemias, injuries due to road, traffic and other accidents. Actinomycosis cyanide poisoning, diabetic wounds and ulcers, diabetic foot, tissue damage, mucositis, cystitis, bone damage, osteoradionecrosis following radiation for cancer treatment, osteomyelitis, thermal burns, necrotizing soft tissue infections, carbon monoxide poisoning and smoke inhalation, gas gangrene and other forms of gangrene, air gas embolism or bubbles of air in blood vessels. Decompression sickness, a hazard of scuba diving. Severe anemia, skin graft or skin flap at risk of tissue death. HBOT also 
reduces the chance of stroke recurrence, relieves muscle spasticity and increases muscle strength, improves mobility and fine motor function, walking and balance, mental function including speech and memory, visual equity, bubble and bladder control and sexual function, increases exercise capacity, enhances sensitivity. And now for some touching testimonials from beneficiaries. My name is Amsa Vellinga. I am from Basel. I am from Tika. I am from KL Hospital. I am very proud of them. I am very proud of them. I am very proud of them. I am from Nandana Hospital. 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 Oximid's 24-hour helpline and advanced ICU. Since the last 15 years, Oximid has been functioning as a daycare center treating thousands of patients without surgery. Also known for meticulous maintenance of medical records, Oximid has computerized patient data pertaining to their history and treatment accorded. Such data is invaluable. For example, if a patient were to develop discomfort or uneasiness during the night, he would have to go to the nearest hospital where he will be subjected to a battery of tests in order to determine the cause of his complaints before being admitted in the ICU. In order to serve our patients better, we are happy to inform that we have become a 24-hour centre with the most advanced ICU where we use a 24-hour helpline card with computer coding to enable access to patient data anytime and from anywhere in case of an emergency. Once the attendants of the patients call our helpline, giving the patient's medical record number, the duty doctor in charge of the hospital the patient is being taken to will immediately be able to ascertain the patient's history before the patient even reaches the hospital. This means saving of precious time in starting treatment. It also saves money to the patient by avoiding the duplication of investigations. In general, in cardiac emergencies, hospitals admit the patient in the ICU to stabilize him. Once stabilized, complicated treatments such as angioplasty or bypass surgery are resorted to. Oximid, on the other hand, has a fully equipped state-of-the-art ICU that can not only stabilize the patient but also subject him to highly advanced non-invasive treatment and discharge him sooner than hospitals offering conventional treatments and surgeries. Let us hear of Oximid's contribution to public health from Dr. Ayaz Akbar, the founder and managing director of Oximid Hospitals. Greetings to you, Doctor. It's a great pleasure, you know, to have you over here. Pleasure. Can you just tell us when was this Oxen Hospital started? By the grace of Almighty, we have started the Oxymed Hospital in the year 2000 in order to combat cardiovascular diseases in a non-invasive way, avoiding the patient to undergo surgical intervention. And Doctor, what is the basic concept of this Oxen Hospital, you would say? We have been always exploring the avenues of most easy way of treating patients that is to avoid pain, trauma, post-surgery, recovery, non-healing wounds. So we have explored and got associated with ACAM bringing ACAM that is 